Si. Unless, of course... What? Well, if you'd already given him the job, then it would be perfectly proper. Oh. <laughs> Actually, Humphrey, <laughs> I think the Dean of Bailey would be rather a good choice for Bishop. <laughs> After all, he's an enterprising chap. Enterprising. Eccentricity can be a virtue. If you call it individualism. It's one of those irregular verbs, isn't it? I have an independent mind, you are an eccentric, he is round the twist. Furthermore, <laughs> <laughs> well, we need people like him in the House of Lords. People who really understand the Arab world. Mm. And steam engines. And steam engines. <laughs> yes, on mature consideration, I think the Dean of Bailey is my choice. Convey that to the palace, will you, Bernard? Yes, Prime Minister. Now, fast! And heard an out to the press by midday and get him around here for a drink here at six. Yes, Prime Minister. Move! <laughs> wise decision, if I may say so, Prime Minister. You may, Humphrey. Thank you, you may. Prime Minister. Uh, how come you know so much about the Dean of Bailey? Weren't you at Bailey yourself? I was, yes. Jobs for the boys, is it? <laughs> On the contrary, Prime Minister. I hardly know him. In fact, I happen to know that he dislikes me. You can ask him yourself this evening, if you like. I don't like him very much either. Honestly? On my word of honour. You have nothing to gain from this preferment? How could I have? <laughs> in case, well done. Helpful, impartial advice. The best traditions of the civil service. <laughs> yes, Prime Minister. <laughs>